Alright, how's it going everyone? Today, I'm jumping to another event, and we're going to be trying out ADP in a standard tournament, or well, standard event. Um, I haven't tried it yet, I've had a few practice games in the ladder, and now it's time to see what it can actually do in the event format. Um, so I'm a little bit curious, I'm a little bit worried, because I'm not feeling... I'm not feeling super comfortable with the deck yet. But hey, this is more first impressions, uh, and not a great hand. Really not a great hand. Um, oof. Okay, well, this is gonna go badly for me. Um, oh, man. I really hate opening hands like this, because this is just like all of my resources just gone. Like, lo oof, losing all of this straight off the bat is really bad. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of metal source. I'm not gonna be able to use it anyway. Um, let's make Shogodization V ready for Intrepid Sword. Just so I can at least get some draws going off. And yeah, let's get rid of this hand. I've kind of got to. Um, Alright, it's not... It's not terrible. Like, it could be worse. I'm just not going to play bench Pokemon. I'm wondering if I should just charge up Zacian. Or at least try with Mawile. I think I'm going to try with Mawile. Worst case scenario, I can just retreat it. And let's bring in Crobat for at least two more draws. There's the Rusted Sword, which is something I want to see. And then we can go for Intrepid Sword. So, not a great start. Ah, I've got Air Balloon. I could have put that energy on Zacian. That's disappointing, because Zacian would have been online next turn. Um, I wasn't sure if I'd draw into an Air Balloon or a Switch, because I was already one Switch down. Um, but, oh well. It happens sometimes. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned as to what I'm going to be doing with this hand. Uh, okay, at least that didn't go off. Yeah, losing those metal sources is a big problem. Because it's one big advantage which you're able to come back quite nicely from. I'm not terribly concerned with that. I got ADP out of that, so I'm kind of okay. Um, honestly, that's not bad. Alright. Yeah, I presume this is a Picarum variant. Go for Spike Draw. Alright, so that's what, 60, 70 damage? It'll be a 3 turn KO at the moment. Not great. 3, 6, 9. I need them to have 3 bench Pokemon for 2 turn KO. So I'm hoping they play one more Pokemon. And they can go for like a 2 turn KO. Which would be, a, be better. Because fortunately now I lost my Air Balloon. Ooh, boss's orders. Alright, that's a bit unfortunate. Um, there's Energy Spinner, which is... I'm very happy with seeing that. Uh, let us... Try and get lucky. Let's go for Energy Spinner. Let's bring out that Water Energy. I've got... Where's my switches? I've only got one switch left in my deck. And I've got two Air Balloons. So my chances are quite low for this to work. But let's try anyway. Energy Switch, let's move that there um and let's go for the dead dene is more likely to bring this out because i can hopefully draw support that i can use afterwards uh damn it didn't work that's unfortunate that's really unfortunate um there's nothing else to even use i was really hoping to draw into an air balloon or a switch to get the crowbat out to go into adp that is unfortunate, but unfortunately it is what it is. And I didn't draw into a support either. I was hoping to draw into Marnie. Man, my luck is not with me today. That's really unfortunate. But it's okay. I can feel like I can still get a comeback. 270 should still be in range for this one once ADP goes off. But let's need to make sure ADP goes off very soon. Otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. Um, so I'm really digging for that switch. Or I'm digging for that air balloon. So I want to get ADP online. Well, I guess worst case scenario, I can just retreat Crobat next turn. So it's not the end of the world. But I would have liked to put an energy down on Zacian V. Um, but at this point, I'd rather just place the energy on Crobat, retreat it, use the metal source to bring it back onto Zacian. So at least I'm not losing the energy. But that's why I was quite sad losing all those metal sources. Because it's just such a great way to bring those energies back. And unfortunately, now Pikarom's getting charged up. So let's get that metal energy there. Let's retreat into ADP. 
let us metal source that back to Satian. Um, I guess from here, just straight up Marnie. Hmm. I could bring into Dene for an easy knockout next turn. I think I can do that. So I don't really need these balls anymore. It's late enough now that it's not really required. At least worst case scenario, now forcing um, them to waste an energy. Uh, let's Marnie. I don't need this hand. At least I'm getting my opponent down a little bit. So let's try and at least waste some of their resources with that. Alright, let's put that down there in case I need to retreat next turn. I do have a switch for next turn if I don't get an energy. Alright, or I, got a, I guess I could prof and try and dig for an energy. I've still got a, quite a few energies in my deck. I don't think I've lost too many. No, I haven't lost many energies. Okay, well, I burned to switch, which is not the end of the world. Because I don't, realistically, I don't need those ball cards anymore. Um, so I'm really not too concerned with getting rid of those. More while I was actually charging up quite nicely. 3, 6, 9, 12. So it's about 130 damage per swing, which is not terrible, but... I guess pre-ADP, because ADP adds 30 on top of that. Yeah, so it's 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 160. It's not bad. It's a little bit shy. Um, but it's not terrible. It's an option. I think that's what it comes down to. It's just, it's an option. Ooh, if this goes off... Okay, I was about to say, if that goes off, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Because I'm really hoping to draw into an energy on this next turn. And be able to start swinging. It's not going to pick up a KO, which is unfortunate. I'm tempted to actually just retreat into Zacian. If I'm able to get an energy off. When I say retreat, I mean use switch. And then hopefully bring out that one more energy. Because I think I've used all my metal sources. Yeah, metal sources are down, unfortunately. Oof, that's a big hit. Alright, so let's switch out. Let's bring in Zacian. Let's Prof's research this all away. Hopefully getting an energy. I do get an energy, which is important. I'm not going to make the mistake I made last time and attach the wrong energy. So let's put that there. Um, the rest I can kind of hold on to. The rest looks pretty good. And let's just go for Brave Blade. Pick up a nice KO here. Cool. And we've got a switch, which is huge. Like, that switch is a lot of value. I'm hoping I don't get moneyed. Because that switch can really make a difference for me right now. Because I can switch, retreat, and bring in Zacian again for a KO. But that's as long as they don't money me. How many monies have they gone through already? I haven't used any. I do have reset stamp though. There's air balloon. All right, that's fine. Ah, damn. Yeah, I was worried about that. Okay, I just need to draw a switch. If I can draw that switch back out, I'm in a really good spot. Not great, but I can profs research, which is all right. And hopefully bring out that switch. Hopefully bring out that switch. <laughs> uh, I do have boss's orders. I guess I do have boss's orders. I can just hit the Dedene and that's game regardless. I can just do that. Um, because how much damage? This is 150. Yeah, I deal more damage and this will give me three prize cards. Yeah, that's fine. So let's retreat into there. This boss's orders to Dene. And good night. Ultimate Ray. Nice game. One, two, three. And let's go. One, two, three. And charge you up there. One over there. And just the sake of this, put one over there. But that's game. One, two, three. ADP for the win. Bit of a stressful game. I was a little bit worried I was playing from behind there. Um, I think I got a little bit lucky with my opponent's draws. They established a little bit slower than I was expecting them to. And I kind of came through at like just the right time. 
Actually, see, I'm still quite a bit of Pokecoin, so let's maybe go and look at an old deck. What old deck do I still actually have to do? Because my other option is just opening up Chilling Rains. But I can't trade those cards, which is a bit of an issue. So going down, I do have quite a bit, so if there is an old theme deck you do want to see played, I'd have ha I have actually stored enough enough Pokecoins to pick up an older deck. So I guess there's still quite a few I can take a look at, which I must actually do. I haven't played an old theme deck in a very long time. Yeah, I've still got a long way to go. So I need to pick up some of these old decks still. Anyway, I'll pick up the video again once the next round starts, because I'm not sure, quite sure how long it takes. Sometimes I've waited like 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'll see you when we pick up again. All right, well, that likely wasn't much of a long wait. <laughs> I waited like three minutes. So I guess I could just carry on talking. All right, let's jump in the second round. Let's see how we do. Um, I see my friends also rocking the Badoof set, which I quite appreciate. It's just so random. It's just fun. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'd like to go for uh, go first with this. Let's see. Um, not terrible, but not really great. Um, yeah, let's... It's one of those, like, it's alright. <laughs> I, I could... Ooh, I'm going up against this deck. Okay, this is going to be a tough game. Alright, let's Cherish Ball. Uh, this is the... Um, ah, that's Single Strike, like, toolbox deck. Man, what's the thing evolving to now? NK into... Oh, man, Evolution. My, my brain's going numb. It basically deals more damage for single, single, every single Single Strike Pokemon in their hand. Um, but unfortunately, my brain is going numb, so I can't tell you what it's called. Uh, let's go there. Um, let's use Primate Wisdom to preserve the switch, if possible. Ooh, that's that's really okay. Let's quick ball this. I'll drop Metal Saucer. Let's bring out Zacian. Let's drop that down there. Let's Crobat. Yes. Let's get that down there. Um, I don't know why I actually put this out there, but I guess it will be fine. And then let's go for it to dinner. Let's get that hand reset. I've got energies in the discard power now, which is actually kind of good for me because I got Metal Saucer. Because now I can go Metal Saucer. I can charge up. I'm actually thinking, do I need Zacian V? And I don't think so. I think I'm actually better with Zamazenta because they're going to attack every single turn. I actually think Zamazenta is better off in this matchup. Um, I don't need this right now, so let's just go. Trepid Sword. Hey, got an energy off that. That's quite nice. And more importantly, another Metal Saucer. So I can get um, Arceus, Diogo, and Palkia online next turn. And then I can start dealing with these. Yeah, no surprise there. And so it begins. This is a bit of a difficult deck to play against. Thankfully with ADP, it's a little bit... It's a little bit less worrying because I'm able to do get two prize cards per Pokemon. Um, when I go up against this deck with my Pikarom, I struggle quite a lot. Yeah, it's this one. Man, what's this damn Pokemon evolve into in K? It's a giant squid thing. It's like a squid. My brain's just numb. I can't recall the name. Um, I said like an MK or something stupid like that, but it's not that. Anyway, regardless. I know what deck this is, so it's fine. Uh, I've got to play quick with this. I need to get um, ADP online very quickly. I actually wouldn't have minded um, more while in this, because more wild just run through this deck, because this deck tends to fill up its bench quite quickly. Uh, so if I do lose a Pokemon, I'm probably going to be bringing out more wild. Alright, let's get rid of that, so I don't have free retreat costs. Uh, let's put that energy there. Um, let's Metal Saucer, and bring up some Zenta, so some Zenta is almost online. I don't really want to give them free draw, so I don't really need to Marnie right now. My hand's decent, so I'm not really worried about that. And let's just go Altered Creation. Alright. So now the ball can start rolling. And I need to get that ball rolling very quickly. Um, I'm hoping to hit this Orucario next turn for those three prize cards. Although I guess it doesn't really matter. But it just stops the draw, which is the big issue. Because they're going to be getting a lot of draws off. And it's more about stopping that than anything else. I know I can't stop these two. The deck runs so many fishing rods. 
and so many ways to bring them back. Malamar, that's the damn name. I couldn't think of the name. Um, I know the deck has so many ways to bring those Pokemon back that there's just, like, no point. Um... So let's see what I can do here. Um, I would really like to draw into that uh, more while. I think more while would be quite good in this scenario. Let's see what we can do. All right. Well, here's an awkward thing. I could just knock out that Malamar, which will slow them down a little bit, which I think I'm going to do. Because I'm getting two prize cards either way, I think it's worth it. Let's just go Ultimate Ray. Because if I get two or I get three prize cards, it's not going to make a difference. Um, let's bring out all of these. So I can charge one there. And I can charge the rest here. So at least everything is now online. Bar the one energy which I need there. Which, that's not going to work, but I'll hopefully get it metal at some point. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. They're going to get a huge draw now because it's Oricorio, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that's the only issue with this deck. This deck draws so quickly. So quickly. I don't know, maybe maybe it was a mistake not bring out not taking out Oricorio. But they knock out ADP, they got three prize cards. Zamazenta comes in and knocks out whatever they had in play. I go down to two prize cards. They knock out Zamazenta, I go down they all go down to one prize card, Zamazation V comes in and closes it. So as long as I can draw one more metal energy, which I should be able to do with energy spinner next turn, I should be alright. Because I'll just be ahead in prize cards. And that's kind of where ADP... ADP comes in really handy in that sense. Because it enables me to just... Stay ahead of prize cards. Even against a deck like this. Um, because that's usually the problem. That I ran into when I was running Picarom. Was that I could easily deal with a deck. But I wasn't getting prize cards quick enough. Whereas they were. Thankfully with the ADP taking two prize cards. I don't have that problem. Um... I must say, I'm actually kind of looking forward to when ADP rotates out. It's just, it's such a powerful card. I'm going to be very happy when it rotates out. I know it's kind of hip hypocritical saying that while I'm playing it. Um, but it, it'll be a good thing when it goes. I think it'll be a very good thing. I don't think that's enough to knock me out. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not enough to knock me out. They did not get a good draw. Alright, let's hit this energy spinner. Um, yeah, I've still got two bosses orders. Okay, let's get that down there. Um, let's just hit all monkey. Um, I don't know, water energy? I don't really care. I was hoping to get um, bosses orders. Marnie, I don't want to give them free draws. So... Yep, let's just carry on getting those knockouts. Keep on applying that pressure. Uh, the two water energies. Uh, it doesn't really matter where they go, I guess. Um, yeah, that's game. They realize they can't get there quick enough. They need to just knock out ADP on that turn. And I mean, even knocking out ADP on that turn, I don't know how much it would have helped. Alright, we are through to the finals of this deck, which is really cool. Um, it's a really good deck. <laughs> It's a really good deck. Um, and the fact that you're able to get the two ADPs now with the current ladder makes it that much easier. So let's open up that Darkness and Blaze Boost and see what I got. Um, it's always fun to see. It is a lock pack, so I can't trade anything, so there's no real reason to keep it. So let's see what we get for ourselves. Nothing too fantastic, but we get two here, which is quite interesting. Ah, we get the Mimikyu with the heal jamming, which is quite cool. And, ah, boring Lugia. Alright, well, not a very interesting pack, unfortunately, but that does kind of happen. Alright, well, once again, I'll pick up the video when we finally get our game. Until then. Alright, it looks like we're in the final round. Uh, again, it actually wasn't that long of a wait, which was quite nice. Um, so let's see, I'd really be happy if I can walk away with a win with ADB in my first event. Uh, which will be super exciting. I wonder if this is actually the full Eternus VMAX deck. With the massive bench. Which would be a pretty good thing for... Um... Mobile. Honestly, I'm kind of okay with this opening hand. 
Uh, it's a bit awkward going second with this opening hand, but it's not bad. Alright, what deck is this? Oh, okay, that's not the one I thought it was. That's a bit of a worry seeing the players that can come in. It's a very big worry seeing the players can come in. Um, but anyway. That's just a little bit worrying. Because it could be a very hard knockout next turn if I get unlucky. Um, let's get... Uh, Rust of Sword down there. I'm going to be losing these cards because of... Um, I'm going to bring out Dene in a second. Let's bring out Arceus Delga and Palkia. Maybe Zam's going to be a good one in this game. Let's bring out ADP. Let's drop that one to bring out Crobat. Let's get a fresh hand. Let's see what we get. Got some energies, which is not bad. Um... I don't think the Zacian V is honestly long for the world, so I'm not going to worry too much about charging it up, so I'd rather put the energy there. Uh, let's go for a Cherish Ball. Let's bring out that sweet, sweet Adene. And... Hmm... I mean, I'm losing these cards anyway, so I may as well. Double tap those. Bring out Adene. Drop the Adene. Six new cards, please. Let's see what we got. Uh, not really what I wanted, so let's do this. I'm not going to be playing another Dedene. I know that much. So let's bring out that Zamazenta V, because I think Zamazenta V will be quite good against this deck, so I'm expecting a VMAX. Let's quick ball again. I'm not going to play the second station. And let's bring out that Mawile. Alright, let's take a look at their hand. Alright, they did have that VMAX. And they got two of these energies. Okay, I've glass switched out. They do have a switch, unfortunately, which means I am gonna be losing Zacian V. Um but it kind of it is what it is. There's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Um I could sack Zacian V for something else. There's always that option. Um Metal Saucer. To go on to Summer Center V. Metal Saucer to go on to Summer Center V. I could I could actually get a knockout here. But I'm gonna then lose to Fire Spin. Cause that's 210. Yeah, 100 percent gonna lose to Fire Spin. But it'll give me a good head start. No, I think I need to wait for them to evolve. I'm going to wait for them to evolve. Let's go and trip it sword. Alright, let's see what happens. So what I was thinking of doing was using energy switch to move that energy across the Zamazan to V. And then switch to bring that into knockout to Dene. Now, it wouldn't have actually knocked out, sorry. If that Blaziken was actually still in the primary position, that would have been a good play. Because I would have been able to get rid of that Rapid Strike energy. Yeah, no surprise there. So it won't get a knockout on this, so let's put that there. Let's put this energy there. Um, I won't need another ADP, I know that much. Let's get an air balloon down so I can get an easy retreat. Um, I don't really want to do anything else, honestly, with this hand. I'm kind of comfortable with this just sitting like this. Yeah, I'm kind of comfortable with this sitting with it just like this. Let's go altered creation. Alright, let's see what we can do. So, unfortunately Zam's going to take a while, because it's 160 damage. So it's going to take a while to get through this blaze again, unfortunately. Because it'll take two turns. Mm, what does that do? Can you use attack. Uh, the attack does 50 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Alright. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I wasn't terribly worried about that Marnie. Like, it's one of those things, like, I had a hand that was alright. 
It wasn't anything fantastic. Yeah, I was a little worried about that coming out. Yeah, that's a concern for me. Uh, yeah, maybe I should have taken that knockout there earlier. So I can get that down there. We can retreat into that. Let's retreat the metal energy because I'm more likely to bring that back. I should have used metal saucer at first, but I was an idiot and I didn't do that. Um, don't want to play monkey right now. Let's just go assault tackle. And let's get rid of that energy. They can still retreat because of air balloon, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, but it kind of is what it is. So let's see what they do. I presume Blazing and V is going to come out and fire spin me to death. I've lost this game, actually. That boss's orders into Tedene actually lost me the game. Ironically. Look, this was a hard matchup, so it's a bit difficult to say that for sure. But I would have benefited a lot from dropping that energy much, much earlier. Because use with them using it, they're able to then establish. So I would have been a lot better off without it. So that was actually a big oof on my side. I shouldn't have gotten to Tedene. That was silly of me. That was definitely very silly of me. Because there's nothing else I can do. Well played. Yeah, 2020 hindsight, hey? Yeah. I should have not switched up because they wouldn't have been able to establish. Look, it's one of those like they had a switch, so like they were lucky in that sense. But regardless, that was a bad play on my side. Good to know. Good to know. For the next game, at least know that now. Alright, some decent boosters. I think I'll actually open up the ones that aren't raining. Um, that aren't chilling rain. So, let's see what we got from that. Uh, unified Mines, anything good? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm still kind of happy with that tournament. Coming second with the first event with my standard deck, I'm really okay with. Especially considering I'm not entirely comfortable with it. And we actually opened a more wild GX, which is really frustrating because I just traded for it. Um, so that's a bit irritating. So, I hope you're not hearing too much background noise, because I hear someone outside with a huge speaker. Okay, I don't think you can hear that. I hope not. Let's see. Alright, nothing fantastic, unfortunately, but hey, it is what it is. Well, thank you so much for watching that, everyone. Uh, sorry I picked up the loss there, a bit of a misplay at the end. But it's growing pains, it's going to take a while to learn this deck. But hey, regardless, I'm happy with the result. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please do consider liking and subscribing, as it really does help me out. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, everyone. Enjoy.